If you have an interview lined up, check out this tool by Google. It's called the interview warm-up tool. In my opinion, it's one of the best tools out there. Right when you have an interview, there are three types of questions that are always asked. First is the behavioral kind of questions, right, where they want to assess your behavior, want to see if you are a good fit. They want to understand your background. So, for example, if you are looking at data analytics, they want to understand the kind of projects that you worked on, uh, your skill sets to see again if you will be successful in that job. And then the final round of questions is usually technical questions where they might ask you questions around SQL, uh, data architecture, uh, any specific technology that you have worked in the past. Uh, uh, and it's always a good idea to have these questions so that you are well prepared for interviews at Google, at Amazon or any big big tech companies. In my opinion, the biggest challenge for someone coming from tech is not the technical questions, but it is actually uh, questions that test your soft skills or communication skills. So for example, uh, I see, I've interviewed a lot of candidates and I see most people struggle in questions uh, such as tell me something about yourself, tell me one project that you are most proud of, uh, tell me some challenges that you have faced in a particular project and how did you uh, overcome, uh, overcome these challenges or tell me about a time where you had to uh, manage expectations. These are the things that I really think that uh, someone from tech, even though we have dealt with it, we are not great at it, right? We are not great at ex explaining these questions, which is where Google's interview warm-up tool is extremely powerful. And I'll show you, I'll give you a tour of Google's warm-up, interview warm-up tool right now. Here is your interview warm-up tool. You can simply Google this or you can go to grow.google.com and let's click on this first link and see why this is such an incredible resource for preparing for your interview. So first thing is, you know, it's it, here you say it, a quick way to prepare for your interview in e-commerce and they have tons of questions. But what I like about this is you can, it, it asks you a list of questions and you record your answer. So you record your answer and Google will give you insights about your answers and tell you how you can improve your answers, which in my opinion is absolutely fantastic. Now let's actually give this a try. So let's click on start practicing. And as you can see, it asks you what, what field do you want to practice for? So there's data analytics, e-commerce, project management, really, you know, most common uh, areas uh, to practice your interviews for. So let's select data analytics. Now when I click on data analytics, it recommends that I start by answering five questions uh, or I can see all the questions. So let's see all the questions because I want to show you uh, the depth of this tool. There are 66 questions overall, okay? Uh, there are questions that test your ability to answer questions around your background. So for example, background questions, I can filter this and you can see it asks you questions about, can you please tell me a bit about yourself? Truly, this is one question that will be asked in every single interview, okay? Even things such as, what are you looking for in your next job? Your manager wants to know why you are interested in this particular job, right? They want to understand what is it that you're looking for. Are you looking for a title? Are you looking for challenges? Are you looking for something else in this role? So again, this is something that is very, very typically asked in, in every interview. Uh, tell me why you're interested in a role in data analytics. Again, you have so many people who may not have a data analytics background, who may have project management experience, who may have had software engineering experience and have taken a course on Coursera or taken a course on Udemy and have fallen in love with data analytics, have applied to Google or any other company and the manager, of course, when he or she looks at the resume, they want to understand why are you interested in data analytics role? So again, this is a great question. If you have come from a different background, practice these questions okay then you have situational questions this is a thing that i was talking about right where describe a situation when you disagreed with someone at work what did you do and what was the result this is a very very commonly asked question again because in your work environment you will be working in teams there will be times where you'll disagree with someone right you cannot agree with someone all all the time especially if you're if you're in a uh, sprint calls or you have an architect discussion you are disagreeing with someone and you are uh, working together to arrive at a, at a solution. So you may want to think about these examples and that's what this 
situational question will test you upon right and again there are there are several questions here then you have technical questions right so you can look at these these technical questions can you describe what a sub query is in sql again this is something that will be asked in a lot of uh, interviews right what are the advantages of using a version control system like git any company that you join is going to use version control system so you can practice these questions this is this may not be only for google this is a great set of questions to start practicing for your technical interviews all right let's give this a try and see if this actually works it has asked me a question i'm going to respond to this and i'm going to see what insights google is going to offer me I finished recording I'm going to click on done and I'm going to see what insights Google has to offer me I'm going to click on the expand answer and see how Google has transcribed my speech it looks like there are certain errors so I'm going to start fixing these errors Now when I do that it's it's starting to analyze my answers so I can now click on job related terms and it tells me that you know I have used couple of terms that are relevant to data analytics for example software and code uh, most used words so for example uh, it says that I use also a lot this is something that I may want to improve upon it's not necessarily a bad thing but I don't have to keep using also let's click on talking points and it will tell me what my talking points are so uh, talk about experience right so i'm talking about experience uh, i did not say anything about my skills right i'm applying for a data analytics role maybe i should talk about my visualization skills or my sql skills and so on i did not talk anything about lessons learned right i if i have 10 years of experience writing code what are some of the lessons learned what are my goals and what are my interests again this is something that i should cover in every interview i hope you enjoyed this tour again i post a lot of videos on general career tips the salesforce there's an entire 10 day course on crm analytics i will also be posting videos on python so cool projects such as building qr codes and converting text to speech uh data visualization projects and so much more so if you don't want to miss out on the content please do not forget to hit the subscribe button thank you